Hi, I'm Dangerously Talented and this is my Blasphemy Challenge. Okay, let's start. I deny the Holy Spirit. It's not enough, is it? I mean, the status bar hasn't even moved. So, what do I do? Um, the problem is the concept of Blasphemy is that certain people with strongly held beliefs being very, very offended because other people don't believe them. That's why they make Blasphemy such a, uh, such a uh, unforgivable sin. So, I deny the existence of uh, a whole list of things. I've written it down. Uh, Allah, Jehovah, Mormon, Moroni, Thor, Ganges, Sinu, any other gods, goddesses, prophets, angels, devils, demons, harpies, wizards, trolls, golems, and any other mythical, magical beings that people have made up over the years. I do not believe that the universe was created by any mythical, magical being, especially only 6,000 years ago. I do not believe that the Freemasons run the world. I've met a couple of Freemasons, they're more likely to be middle management types with bad comb-overs. They're just the sort of people who have joined a club in the hopes of finding a place where they belong and maybe doing some good in the world. I do not believe that the moon landing was faked. Uh, the Russians were monitoring the uh, transmissions at the time, and if there was any evidence of any fakery, um, they would have put it on the front page of, the, of Pravda for weeks. I do not believe that Princess Di Diana was killed by a massive conspiracy. The car accident was just too survivable, as evidenced by Trevor Reese Jones, the, uh, the bodyguard who uh, survived, although with massive injuries. If anybody was going to rig an accident, they would have rigged up something like a helicopter crash, which is far less survivable, particularly over water. She flew a lot by helicopters. You know. Okay, um, there was no massive conspiracy to kill JFK either. Lee Harvey Oswald was a lone douchebag who enjoyed making it trouble. You can see the, uh, the old uh, video footage of him uh, back then, you know, uh, after he got arrested. The guy had a little grin on his face, you know, as if he, as if he was the cat who ate the cream. That is not the, uh, that is not the expression of somebody who was, uh, who was innocent and who was just a patsy. I do not believe that 9-11 was an inside job or was faked. Four aircraft were crashed by 19 hijackers who were deluded enough to believe that they were going to get a free ticket into heaven if they killed themselves and 3,000 other people. I also do not believe that the cause of the US Civil War was anything other than slavery. Yes, it's a gross generalization, but hey, no slavery, no war. It's really that simple. I do not believe in any kind of quack medicine. If you have a uh, thing of water with a few modern cools of, uh, of uh, something in it, you're basically drinking distilled water. If a holy man lays hands on you, the most likely thing that's going to happen is you'll get nits. Um, walking yourself up to a super, super dub love tester is not going to help diagnose abnor mental abnormalities and it won't cure the ringing that's in my right ear. Vaccinations will not do more harm than good. They do less harm than measles, mumps, rubella, whooping cough, and any other preventable diseases. They're harmless. They made smallpox extinct. Fluoridation is only a method of reducing the incidence of tooth decay. And, as far as I know, it's pretty successful. Maybe I should have eaten ice candy. AIDS was not engineered by the CIA to keep the population down. It's caused by the human immunodeficiency virus, and if you have it and take antiretrovirals, you might live a little longer. Oh, and having unprotected sex with somebody who is HIV positive is not a good idea. Holocaust, not fate. There is no magical source of energy that the drug government is trying to cover up. The earth is not flat, hollow, growing, or shrinking. And they are not deliberately laying any chemicals in the upper atmosphere. No satellites can read your thoughts. Communism is not there. It's Communism is dead. Nobody will bring it back. If you are a communist, don't bother. If you are an anti-communist, you can put down your blacklists and listening devices. Game over. The Soviet Union collapsed. It has ceased to be. It is no more. It collapsed under the own weight of, under its own weight under under economic unrealistic uh, under an e unrealistic economic system. <sighs> it is no longer. To un it is unable to support worldwide revolution of any kind. It is no more. It has ceased to be. It's gone. Get over it. Vampires don't sparkle. 
Aliens are not visiting us. Aliens are not abducting us. They are not fighting up our cattle. And they are not leaving giant crop circles. It's somewhere in the cornfields of Iowa. And they are certainly not calling on tawdry science fiction authors or bowl keepers or former music professors or motorsport journalists and telling them the real truth. That means you, radians! You are just as alerted as anybody who believes in the gods visiting Joseph Smith and giving him whole books written in some indecipherable language on golden plates. Obama is not a secret Muslim and was not born anywhere other than Hawaii. Clinton is not a murderer. They spent millions of dollars investigating Clinton and turned up with one lie about Felicio. If everybody who lied about Felicio was arrested and imprisoned, there would be nobody left to run the country. And even that is not as bad, nearly as bad as the crimes of Nixon or Bush. Nixon was not framed, by the way, he got away with the pardon, and um, Bush was, and co would, uh, have committed enough crimes for us uh, not to need to make up any rubbish about skull and bones on 9-11. The right did not have any weapons of mass destruction, and uh, Saddam Hussein was not behind 9-11. There was uh, possibly some monkey business uh, going on with the 2000-2004 election, voting machines died off and all that, but uh, it is possible that the monkey business uh, was only organised by only a few people. Um, crooks like Karl Rove have a lot to answer for. Global warming, not a hoax. The only question is how much. You pump enough of anything into the atmosphere and you're going to change the weather. Um, such changes, not all that predictable though. Even if it is not happening, um, burning fossil fuels, probably a good idea. They're a finite resource. And it is a good idea to um, just leave the car at home sometimes. That includes me. I should get out and have a room too. Supply side economics doesn't work. Tax cuts for the wealthy only seem to help to uh, concentrate the wealth amongst the few. And uh, where does that extra wealth go to? Not to building factories, not to growing the economy. No, it just goes into the hands of people like Madoff, Bear Stearns, ARG, that sort of people. Um, people who promise massive returns but don't actually... Uh, well, they deliver on the promises but only until the bubble bursts. Guns do not make people safe. The presence of guns brings more fear, fear brings more violence, according to Yoda. Um, Guns must be controlled, registered. Those who can't use them responsibly should not be allowed to have them. And there is no reason for a civilian to own an assault rifle, unless, of course, murder is legal. There will be no rapture. The world was not ending in 2012. The only predictable thing that's going to happen in 2012 is that the Olympics will happen in London, and um, whether the uh, stadiums are completed or not, um, they will probably lose a whole heap of money, as the games and the games will bring some benefits to London. Being chosen to host the Olympics is both a blessing and a curse. And that was my blasphemy challenge. Um, I think no matter what I have said, there will be some people out there who will be very insulted by every single one of the things I have just said. Uh, but as I am just stating fact, um, pardon me. <coughs> oh. um, as I have said before, that's the whole point. If you uh, believe that kind of thing, you are seriously deluded. Of course, it, oh. uh, if you unquestionably agree with the every single uh, thing I said 100%, then you uh, should start thinking for yourself. Otherwise, you are just being a sheeple. Sheeple. Sheeple? So, poor old sheep is sheep. I sheep. Yeah, that would be awesome. Anyway, um, okay, okay. um, I'm dangerously talented and I don't have a cool sign off.